According to a report, there will be more than 300 million electric vehicles on the road worldwide by 2030. It's only seven years away, so if we're to add 280 million vehicles in seven years, we'll need a lot of batteries made using cheaper and more abundant materials. This is why scientists at Drexel were looking into a brand new type of battery that's cheap with the price of $17 per kilowatt hour, known as lithium sulfur. So why does this lithium sulfur discovery make it the future of battery storage? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to the channel, friends. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now let's get started with today's content. Over the last few years, lithium sulfur batteries have been touted as a strong candidate for marking a new energy storage era, but they haven't made it to the market yet. Now, a group of chemical engineers from Drexel University has found a way to enable their real-world application. Through the utilization of sulfur, because you can keep the sulfur on the cathode side, it protects the lithium electrode. Introducing sulfur into a lithium battery has been difficult due to what the researchers describe as an irreversible chemical reaction between intermediate sulfur products. This has resulted in nearly immediate shutdown and complete failure of the battery after just one cycle. Thus, the research team at Drexel were looking at ways to redesign the battery's cathode in order to prevent the damaging chemical reactions that take place during the charging process. But what they discovered instead was a rare chemical phase of sulfur that prevents the reaction. The result shows that this battery actually performed amazingly well. How much will a lithium sulfur battery cost? In a world where commodity prices for battery materials are going crazy, switching to lithium sulfur isn't just a good idea, it's an incredibly sensible one. Being the 10th most abundant element on Earth, sulfur is much easier to find than cobalt and nickel. Plus, it's obtained as a byproduct of various industrial processes, such as petroleum refining. Sulfur's price has has also risen over the last 12 months by 47%. However, the cost of sulfur is dirt cheap, currently $382 per metric ton. To make the comparison, you can purchase nearly 200 tons of sulfur for what you pay to get one ton of cobalt. The researchers say they have optimized production costs so that the lithium sulfur battery costs six times less than Tesla's current 4680 battery. Again, that's about $17 per kilowatt hour. That that's why introducing sulfur into the cathode formulation would relieve pressure on the EV supply chain and could reduce the costs of EVs. How does a lithium sulfur battery's energy density outperform that of a lithium ion battery? According to the research, a 4680 cell's energy density was 244 watt hours per kilogram. In contrast, the energy density of the sulfur battery will be around 723 watt hours per kilogram. What does that actually mean in practice? Well, for instance, if you were to swap your EV lithium ion battery with a lithium sulfur one, you could drive your car roughly three times longer without needing a recharging station. Or you could keep your existing range with a much smaller, lighter, and cheaper battery pack. Today's top performing EVs using lithium ion batteries have ranges that top out around 500 miles. With a lithium sulfur battery, now a car with a battery that weighs exactly the same could travel up to 1500 miles on a single charge. How long does does it take to charge the lithium sulfur battery? These new batteries have the advantage that they can retain 91% of their capacity after 1700 cycles of fast charging at a rate of 2C, which is fully charged and discharged in 30 minutes. The researchers add that these batteries can still hold 74% of their initial capacity even after 1000 cycles at 5C, which go from fully charged to fully empty in 12 and a half minutes. What does the C mean exactly? The the C rate is the unit battery experts use to measure the speed at which a battery is fully charged or discharged. For example, charging at a C rate of 1C means that the battery is charged from 0 to 100% in 1 hour. For comparison, 4680 batteries are made to keep at least 80% of their initial capacity for a significant number of charge cycles, and they fully charge in 52 minutes. 
So then what breakthroughs have scientists made on the lifespan of lithium sulfur batteries? Despite the mystery, after a year of testing, Dr. Kalra and her co-workers proved their sulfur cathode stabilization over 4,000 charge discharge cycles, meaning it lasts at least twice as long as lithium ion, which is about 50 years. Where will this battery be applied? Lithium sulfur batteries are also lighter, making them highly attractive for drones and electric planes. In fact, in 2020, LG Energy Solutions installed a lithium sulfur battery in a high altitude, long endurance solar powered unmanned aerial vehicle developed by the Korea Aerospace Research Institute. It successfully performed well in a test flight at the highest altitude possible in the stratosphere for 13 hours. But besides that, a significant agreement by Australian company LIS Energy, inked in 2022, was with leading US e aviation company Magnix, which will test the potential of the lithium sulfur cell technology for e-aviation applications. In short, lithium sulfur batteries could allow a huge range of activities to go electric, such as short-haul flights, cargo vessels, and passenger ferries. The weight saving, long life, and competitive price will mean these sectors can finally achieve their low carbon goals. Still, this sounds like a lot of work. How long is it going to take for this battery to get out onto the market? We've been talking to a lot of industry folks to get an understanding of the steps beyond where we are right now, and our understanding of such a technology would be more in the range of five to six years. Drexel's Viva Calra highlighted some possible use cases, but we believe this is much sooner than five years. But that isn't the end of this discovery. The team at Drexel is currently looking into using this breakthrough to make sodium sulfur batteries. By removing the need for lithium, they can make batteries even more eco-friendly and eliminate a massive supply chain bottleneck, ensuring EV adoption can continue at the breakneck speeds car makers are planning for. Now, will Musk invest in this lucrative project? While Ford and Mercedes-Benz have partnerships with battery manufacturers to explore solid-state technology, Elon Musk is planning to add lithium sulfur batteries to expand the range of Tesla vehicles. This partnership with the Drexel team starts in 2023, this year, and is supposed to blow up the EV industry. Drexel's unexpected yet radical achievement may be finally pulling the sought-after lithium sulfur battery within commercial reach. With lower cost, higher power density, and greater durability, this technology would change the way we think about energy storage for good. Having said that, scientists will still need to prove their optimized device outside of the lab. So our cars, smartphones, and drones will have to wait a little longer before being supercharged to the next level. How do you feel about the future of lithium sulfur batteries? Do you believe, as Kalra said, that they will be released sooner than five years? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.